Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Guns, Nerds, and Steel. And we find ourselves this morning here at the edge of the great big lake that's uh, near the base over there and near the snow biome over there as well. Which, by the way, I want to head over there in a little bit and see if I can get some snow and <laughs> maybe see if we can uh, get a mountain lion. I, I don't know. That's a little bit dangerous. But um, I wanted to show you guys a little bit of a trick this morning. So if I jump down in the water here, I was watching another YouTuber and uh, there was a really good trick. So the YouTuber is Physics Games and I'll link him down in the description if you want to check him out. But the trick here is you want to sneak down, so you hit the crouch button, you can see the uh, sneaky bar come up in the bottom left, and then you hold shift, so if you do like the sneak run, you actually, that's the fastest way to move underwater. We're actually moving remarkably fast. I'm gonna get some air before I die. Yeah, so if you're just moving regular, you look at the number there and how quickly it's moving. If I hold shift, nothing really changes, but if I crouch down and hold shift, the number moves much faster. Now, it's worth noting that you go much slower if you're going at a diagonal versus if you're going like level with the horizon. So that's the trick right there. Just a fun little thing I learned watching a very small YouTuber, Physics Games again, and uh, something I did not know. So basically, long story short, if you're moving underwater, you want to do uh, shift the sneak shift run thing. You know what I mean. Ooh, probably did a terrible job explaining that, but anyway, let's head over to the snow biome. Okay, we're in the snow biome. Be, be very careful here. It's very, like, mountainous. Don't want to kind of jump a bear. But if I... I do recall that there was an airdrop that landed in this direction. So I might just kind of get up to the top of this mountain and take a quick peek. By the way, I don't even know. Can you use snow? I'm just going to check the recipes on it. Uh, yes, you can make that into murky water. So, oh, a snowman? <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. I love it. Yeah, so this should help if we start running out of water. Ah, there it is right there. I knew there was an airdrop over here somewhere, so I'm glad we came out to check. Lots of lumberjacks. I do need feathers anyway, so we'll kind of collect these up as we go along. A couple eggs here and there. Gotta make some more arrows and all that stuff. Ah, here it is. Oh, tell me this was all going to be worth it. Something good in here. Oh my goodness, a nail gun. And a beaker. I already have a couple beakers. Painkiller? Wow. Holy crap. That is a good find. Well, I suppose we're done here. I can't really get much of a view. The snow biome is too foggy. Now yeah, watch out for that bear over there. Some iron. I might actually pick up that iron while I'm right here on the mountain. And uh, we do need to do some iron mining a little bit later this afternoon. Lots of new things we need to craft today. We need to upgrade the research station, and I, I want to get a um, iron shovel crafted because we need to start digging and start making preparations for the big horde base build that has been fully designed, and it's um, hopefully not going to require a lot of material just to get started, to get off the ground, but it is going to require a lot of materials in the long run, so we got to get started. And while I'm right here, I might just take a look at my skills and see, I do have a skill point this morning. So let's go one into minor 69er. Um, I, I, the reason I do minor 69er first and then mother load later is because I did some testing a while back. And um, you could kind of think of it like you get more bang for your buck if you take mother load, but you get more like buck for your bang if you take minor 69er. Oh, that came out wrong. Anyway, basically you can break blocks more quickly and therefore you get like the bonus from breaking a block and you end up getting more resources more quickly if you take Miner 69er first and then you take Mother Load second. The other thing is that you get more XP by taking Miner 69er because you break the blocks if you see the XP rolling in on the bottom there. That actually will occur more quickly if you take Miner 69er and then Mother Load actually nerfs how much XP you get from mining. So don't want that especially early game yeah so i need to get the iron shovel so i can dig faster so that i can collect some clay use the clay to turn into bricks and the bricks to turn into like basically cobblestone shapes and then we can start construction we'll probably do this the horde the day 14 horde at the base that we have right now but my goal would be to have at least the horde base portion of the new base completed and ready to go for the day 21 horde. Oh, my cold resistance has increased, which is interesting. That's actually like an action skill. Cool. So then presumably like heat resistance is probably a thing too if you live in the desert. 
Okay, same trick here. You're going to crouch down. going to start rolling across nice and quickly. Oh, my sneaking improved as well. Very nice. Oh, geez, I just got a wheel, a car wheel off that car. Does that mean I can get, like, bicycle wheels off of bicycles and motorcycle wheels off of, like, motorcycles? That's really cool. Another wheel. That might make, like, crafting vehicles much easier because I won't have to spend the research. Oh, I did get gears. I was kind of thinking to myself, uh, you should probably get gears out of cars, right? But yeah, if we don't have to research wheels, that saves us, like, 200 research data. Also, I've learned that when you're encumbered, it begins to increase your weightlifting skill. And uh, that's that should be helpful because that'll it, over time, that will increase how much you can carry. All right, I just need to put all of this stuff and get organized. And then I think we'll be ready to kind of roll out for the day and do that mission over there. Okay, as for that melee mods bundle, we'll open that up and see what happens here. Okay, so barbed wire mod fortifying grip and actual barbed wire. So I can scrap these to get extra research data. And I'll just, um, I'll probably save that mod to throw onto like a bat or something when I find it and then I can sell it for greater value. Okay, so I'll meet you over at that quest and we'll get that banged out this afternoon. Here we are at O'Reilly Auto. I did just have to re-log the game. I was having some lag issues and it, it's still a little bit jittery. I'm not sure. I don't think that that's an undead legacy issue. I think it's a compo pack thing from what I've heard. So sometimes I do just have to re-log the game and I, I get some frames back. But okay, so here we are. I've already searched the area and I'm gonna just activate the quest and search it again. I did pull a sham chowder out of this ice cooler here just a second ago, and there's a little bit of beer to go with it. You're having like a classic Boston dinner tonight. Oh my goodness, there's an iron pickaxe and a pitchfork. Oh, wow, that is uh, interesting and also really cool. Let's just bring that down in case we have to use it here today. Yeah, so this has the old steel pickaxe appearance, and I imagine the steel pickaxe has a new appearance as well, so you don't have any overlap there. Well, very cool. Yeah, I don't typically do the double loot. I know that's a thing. Some people suggest that I do it sometimes. It's just not, it's not good for YouTube content to do that. So I just don't do it. I don't even do it really uh, on my own. Kind of the extent that I'll do is I, sometimes when I'm playing multiplayer, I'll just like roll through town and, and hit every main loot that I know how to get easily, especially when you have parkour. Just like jump on the roof of like that building right there in two seconds and get the main loot. All right, looks like we're gonna be heading inside here in just a minute. I'm gonna still be taking lights and stuff. Hopefully we don't have to do this for very much longer. Um, you'll always probably wanna get computers and things that you can disassemble in the disassembly station, but things like lights and trash cans and like weird stuff that I keep taking, I think that's, uh, that's gonna expire real soon as we get enough money for the motorcycle. And did I wake someone up on the roof there? It does look like it. Okay, by the look of it, the satchel is up on the roof with that guy. Can you come over here and come through the glass, please? Come on. There you go. Stuck the landing, too. Impressive. Oh, shit. Oh, damn it. Oh, sometimes it's hard to predict them. Okay, let's get our sneak on a little. There's always somebody in here somewhere. Yep. Where are you? Businessman. Pleasure to kill you today. Okay, these filing cabinets are locked, but seeing how you can potentially pull schematics out of them... I, I wonder if you can just break them open, actually. Let's give that a crack. You can just break them open. Okay, I didn't know that. Oh, a couple old books. Uh, good to know, though. I suppose I could um, pick them just for the incremental increase in my lockpicking lock skill, but... I don't feel like I have enough lock picks right now to do that, and the bobby pins, they just suck so bad. They're, they're frustratingly bad. All right, someone in here. Well, this is this place is hard to sneak into because the zombies, are, this is a trigger room, I think. That door is locked. All right, I think they're all on the rooftop. Let's just go up here and have a big fight here. Where are you? Wake up, in the butt. Oh crap, mistimed that one. I guess if you really wanted to play like a true agility playstyle and just kite zombies and watch them bleed, that's totally viable. Kind of fun too. 
I'm more of like a toe-to-toe -to -toe murderer though. All right, can't forget this. Picking up some like car supplies for the order. And then we'll have to completely clear out the area in case we decide that there's something else to come back for in the future. Cole, are you in there? Hello? Ooh, a lantern. Yes, people have been telling me to take lanterns because I think you could just set them down and it works as a, a regular lantern for you, which is kind of interesting and cool. Okay, who's down here? Biker! Oh, lovely. Oh, crap. He's mad. Close the door. Oh, no, that trick doesn't work with the hatch ladders, damn it. Nope, look out. There, got him. Okay, we've got the orange dot. We know there's only a couple left. Ooh, locked toolbox. I'll try and pick this one. Oh, yes, I'm practicing not smacking the chest after I open it with a lockpick. It's more difficult than it sounds, really. That car is locked. We can, I guess, try and pick that. It says very easy. Got it? Okay, good. Getting good at this now. Another, another pitchfork. They're good to sell, and also I'll try to repair it so we can get a little bit more out of it. Brass ingots, though. I've been curious, like, what do you... What is this used in? You can make bullet casings or more bobby pins or brass hinges. Okay. Oh, hello there. Of course, that didn't work. I think I woke up everyone. Ah! Oh, damn crawler. Yup. Oh, <laughs> Janitor killed himself for me. Nice. Oh, and that's it for the quest. Free to loot up. In fact, didn't I? Do I have some eye candy, don't I? I have one eye candy. We'll go ahead and take that, and so that for the next five minutes, I'll just poke through all the loot here. I don't think you're going to get much in terms of scaled loot out of these containers, but you never know. Oh, I wonder if I can place down that flashlight. I don't think that's how that works. Flashlight. It is semi-valuable, so if I put that down... Yeah, not working. We'll just sell it. Oh, wait. Press E to turn on. Oh, nice. Yes, we'll be keeping that then. I wonder if these lights are the same way. Place down, and... That one might need to be connected to power, it looks like. That's fair. Vehicle off-road lights. Never been a big fan. I'll take the research data instead. Ooh, good pair of scrap leg armor, which I'll just repair and sell, even though it's pretty good. Yeah, I want to yeah, I want to go into full light armor because I want that mobility back. Okay, I think we're all set here and I'm I'm encumbered, so it's probably time to just get out of here. All right, so I'm just going to sneak back to the trader. I'll meet you there. Along the way, I'll just be picking through mailboxes and stuff like that. If there's anything good, I'll let you know. Huh, look at that. A whole horde just kind of standing there, loafing around. Are you guys broken? Nope, they're not broken at all. They are working just fine. I think what happened, someone had notified me that sometimes what happens is they spawn somewhere, they have a predetermined destination that they will run toward, and then once they make it to their destination, they just kind of stand there until their timer expires, and then they die. Quite honestly though, I'm too encumbered to do this right now, so I'm just gonna move on, let them die. All right, made it back. How can I help you? Okay. Let's see what we get for a reward here. Scrap knuckles or leather boots. I'll take the leather boots because it requires 200 research data per piece of leather armor to unlock them. So I definitely want, if, I, if we're going to be wearing light armor, we're going to have to find it because I'm not spending uh, a thousand research data to unlock a whole set of armor. Break that. So new job for tomorrow then. A ranch house number three, or we've got this custom farm right here, or farmer Giles, or a buried supply. Mm, not really into that, honestly. Yeah, what is this ranch house? Sure, sure, we can do that. As you wish. And otherwise, I don't think there's anything to do here, so let's just head back to the base. I think what I actually wanna do for the remainder of the evening is harvest um, iron and try to get this mine kind of fleshed out a little bit and hopefully nothing rolls up on us also this pickaxe about to break so this, this might be a, a quick adventure all right 
right, that's it. I've broken all my tools. Hot tip for you when you're mining, though. I always try to mention this occasionally because it's not a well-known fact, but you generate less heat if you sneak when you're mining. You do the same amount of damage, same amount of resources, but like in terms of breaking iron, you do, I think it's 30% less heat. And if you're breaking stone and other stone related ore like nitrate and coal, then you do 50% less heat. So you're less likely to generate a screamer, unless you're into that kind of stuff. So on the way home, I did pick up this mushroom seed recipe, which I suppose that's useful to know for things like, um, you know, vegetable stew and stuff like that. So I guess I'll read that. Mini bike frame, we're skipping that. Hopefully I don't live to regret that, kind of like I live to regret you know, scrapping all the bicycle stuff. So we get a mushroom. I do have a couple mushroom seeds right here. Oh no, you can't put them on face like you used to be able to. Oh. Also, it's not letting me put it on like just anything. I probably have to go put it on. Oh, it, oh, it probably needs a farm plot because Undead Legacy changed it. Okay, well, scratch that plan. Okay, so tomorrow's gonna be the big sell-off. So I'm gonna just grab up anything that I think I can repair. Yeah, look at all this stuff. We've got like gloves, shotguns, these pitchforks. Got a whole bunch of pitchforks. Yeah, I think we're gonna have enough. I think this is gonna do it. I have a lot of really valuable stuff and I have a lot of money already. That'd be good. If we have significant amounts of money left over, I might look into that D-class iron knife that Sergeant Maxton is selling. But let's see if we can get all this repaired up. Brass knuckles taking brass. All right, so far so good. And that's everything all repaired up. I wonder what the value of all that is gonna be combined. Okay, now that we're all organized, there are tons of things that we need to start crafting. Among them are the three clothing pocket mods, the double clothing pocket mods. So we'll get those ready. I can also craft up the mechanic table. I had researched that several days ago, but then decided not to pursue crafting it, but you know, might as well now. I have all these materials here, might as well get them, might as well use them and get this crafted once and for all. I was gonna see if I could upgrade my research table, which I can, I'm missing a tool. So as far as I know, you just have to have a hammer in your inventory. I don't think it's actually expended, but um, let's just try this. Put a hammer in my inventory, go back, try to upgrade my research table. Yes, it's just, you know, wooden hammer or claw hammer in the inventory. So, oh, interesting. <laughs> Turn it into a table. And uh, yes, I still have the hammer. It's good to know. Oh, by the way, I probably could um, sell a couple of these hammers. Where'd they go? There they are. Yeah, I don't, I don't, well, I need one at least, right, to do the upgrading, but I could probably repair these two hammers here and sell them. Oh, jeez, another table. Um, how about we move some stuff around here? All right, the good thing is, is that I I have, like, factored in how many stations there are, and, uh, I've, uh, yeah, I factored that into the base build, the big base build that we're gonna do, and, ooh, take that TV and we'll sell that. And so, yeah, there's going to be plenty of room for all the workstations. It's going to be a pretty cool design, I think. So, you know, I'm excited to kind of reveal that to you guys here in the coming days. Iron ingots. Get all of them. All 111, and we'll turn those into plates afterward. Okay, pocket mods are ready. These are interesting, because these are actually tiered or, like, classed items. They're, they're mods, but they have a class to them. So you can toss them into the maintenance station and upgrade them at um a re i would call that a reasonable cost so let's go ahead and upgrade them and then we can just kind of compare and see what that's doing so original is backpack space plus 10 and with the extra class it goes up to 11.1 .1. so i'm thinking if i'm doing the math right that'll go up to 20 if you get it all the way up to an s class so how how is that gonna go here research data 95 percent chance also, kind of reasonable cost, getting a little expensive on the leather. I think we'll hold off on that for now. Just get these upgraded a little bit, and I'll slap those onto the clothing. So that all of a sudden there, we just jumped up to 169. That was plus 33.3 to our carry capacity. And then let's just see if I can... I have to stand here when I'm using the maintenance station so I have access to all the inventory that we have. And see if we can... Upgrade that. Nope, need cotton. Kind of, kind of a bummer. I don't like picking cotton. 
At least cotton has kind of a usage in the mod though, because typically I don't, I just ignore it entirely. Okay, we're completely kitted out now in light armor. We'll repair this one and sell it to either Maxton or Ellen a little bit later on tomorrow. I think we have enough ingots now. We can start rolling on plates. Hmm. Uh, can I upgrade this yet? Carpenter's axe. Carpenter's axe and saw. I can make the saw and the blacksmith forge. What about that carpenter axe? Can be crafted for iron plating and wooden handle, and I already have it unlocked. That might be worth doing. We'll have to get some wood anyways. We'll, we'll table that for another time, I think. <laughs> Jeez, this is ridiculous. That's better. Okay, I got some plates. Let's, uh, at a bare minimum today, I want to get the shovel. We need the shovel to do digging tomorrow. So research the shovel, and hopefully the resource cost for the actual shovel itself is not too dramatic. I feel like a lot of things require wooden handles, so... Oh, low on glue? Uh-oh. I, I don't think glue is easy to craft. Chemistry station? Oh, jeez. Oh, crap. Needs to be researched, first of all. Oh my god, acid. And... Yeah. Crafted it in the workbench, so we could do it if we get the acid. Holy crap, man. Can I make acid? No, nah, it does not appear as though I can make acid, which is a big bummer because I've only found two so far. I'll have to keep an eye out at the trader to see if they're selling any. Ooh, that's going to be a big bottleneck. Glue, really, of all things? Yeah, bones don't even make glue. Bones make bone powder. Oh, speaking of mortar and pestle, though, I believe I can craft that. Yeah. Okay. Read the shovel. What is that going to require? It did require a wooden handle. All the iron plating that I had. Luckily, no more glue. Duct tape, and uh, yeah, we can do that. Let's do it. Would like to do the fire axe, but we need to also do the carpenter's axe. Probably just do carpenter's axe for now, though, right? Get a little bit more iron plating. Oh, there it is. Morning has arrived. There's the shovel. Luckily, we do have a grave digger. I just, it's been in a box. I forgot to actually put it on anything. Scrap that, and I wonder what it's going to cost to upgrade this. Insufficient station level. We will have to find out at a later time. Okay, there's the rest of my ingots to make the rest of my plates. Jeez, all that iron mining we did, and basically, we need to go iron mining again. Well, there's everything and the carpenter's axe, and we're out of wooden handles. We're almost out of glue. We're down to two. So holy crap, man. Where do I get glue from? Where, where can I get a keb station? You know what would be helpful is if we found the schematic for it. Mortar and pestle. What is that good for? Making stone powder. Stone powder, I believe, used to make... It's in the recipe for cement mix. So good to at least have that. And I think this will probably be doing a lot more damage than the stone axe. Oh, hell yeah. So we're done with the stone axe. We're out of the stone age, finally. In terms of upgrading that, though, yep, can't do it at that station level. What do I need to upgrade this anyway? Books, a bunch of plates, leather, duct tape, yep, stuff I don't have. Well then, well, I guess, um, don't need these anymore, scrap those. I think we need to just do mining this morning. Mining and resource gathering. And then as soon as the trader opens, we will start lugging. It's probably going to take two or three trips. Luckily, sugar butt's lasting 10 minutes. But yeah, we need to haul everything over to the trader and hope we can get that motorcycle. But at least for now, until this shovel breaks, I'm going to just open up this mine here. This is just going to be our clay stone iron mine right here. We're going to get like all in one. Oh, hell no. Three hits brings it down to one hit point. Tell me I have a skill point. I have a skill point. Miner 69er. Yes, that should fix that. Yep, three hits. All right, let's get to work then. Okay, got zombies. I think that's- Oh, jeez, it's a horde! Oh, God, that was close. Wow, wow, okay. <laughs> that was a lot of fun mining, actually. Completely broke the shovel, completely broke the pickaxe. Let's uh, try the 9 mil. I feel like we have plenty of it now. 
just does no damage at all. Crap. Oh, fuck that. We'll go with the knives. Okay, coffee's about to run out. I'll drink another one, and we'll finish this horde off. Oh, look, there's the rest of them right over there. They're having a hard time pathing today, it looks like. Fair enough. Wake up. Come over here. Wow, as long as I have the coffee in me, it's like impossible for me to lose stamina. I love it. Hey, check out this carpenter's axe. I was interested to see what it looked like, and it's uh, it's one-handed, and it looks really, really cool. Oh, crap, more zombies. Oh, part of the horde. Hey, hey, hello, hello, come over here. Ladies, back this way, please. Ow. It's like a lady killer challenge. Oh, crap, I'm gonna die. Ah! Oh, damn. Well, wow, that was fun. Okay, holy cow, I made it. I ate a steroid, and look, I can carry 270 pounds. Well, technically, I can carry more than that, but I was a little bit encumbered. But, geez, I, I ran over here, no problem. So, we'll do sugar butt in, and damn it, I hope we make enough money. May I see your inventory, ma'am? That's it for her, and Sergeant Maxton, would you like to buy this scrap leg armor? Yes, he will. Okay, tw 26,000, that's well. definitely enough. The question is, what is the discount that I get? So I could get the Wanderer, that's the generic motorcycle, I think. But in her secret stash, she's got the Renegade for 22,000. Yes, we've got it. Okay, and the weight on that, only 30, so we're not gonna be encumbered hauling it around. Well, now that we're good to go, is there anything else I can buy? Yep, let's change it up. Let's not do the iron sword, let's do the iron knife. After much deliberation, I've been here for a couple minutes <laughs> thinking about this. I wanna try out the, the iron knife. It looks pretty cool anyway, so buy that. Take your time. Wow, and that is it. Let's switch it over, whoops. Okay, also it has um, extra mod slots compared to the machete and extra mod slots compared to that sword as well. So I think this is gonna be uh, a good decision in the long run. She did have a serrated blade, which I can't afford. However, if I sell my machete, I'll sell you a steroid. Give me that. Awesome. Thank you. That gives us extra bleeding on uh, enemies, 10% extra chance to cause a bleeding wound on a regular attack. I think our power attacks do guaranteed bleeding, but also just 10% more damage flat. Wow, it's like I'm a whole new man now. Oh, it's raining, damn it. Well, anyway, let's pop this down over here. And I do not like that green color. So open this up and uh, I have this blue dye or I can't, can't put the dye on. Do I have to? Uh, what's the trick here? Take it and modify from the inventory. I can't die the motorcycle. Oh, geez. Well, um, if, if I recall, hmm, I'm gonna just, um, sneak over here so no one can see me doing this. Okay, okay, very, very quiet here. Um, let's have a quick peek at something. Uh, just don't tell anyone that I'm doing this, okay? No one will ever know. Renegade. Oh, geez, look at the colors. Um, okay, I'm gonna put this renegade here and then this renegade here. Turn that back off. Okay. Hey, everyone, look, I figured out how to dye it uh, red, so that'll kind of match the color theme and it's much better than that turquoisey color. Wow, awesome. Free fuel, and we'll take it for a test drive. Oh, you gotta love the speedometer down there, too. Let's see how fast we can get it. Mm, only a little over 30 miles an hour, looks like. Kind of, oh, we're pushing 40 now. Yep, we got about uh, 38 miles an hour. Not gonna lie, the handling is not very good. It's definitely not as good as was the regular motorcycle. More like a chopper, it's got like a wide turn radius. We're not gonna be doing any off-roading in this. This is just from point A to point B kind of stuff. All right, anyway, without further ado, I wanna test out this new knife. So tier two fetch here, let's see what we can do. And finally, I don't have to like pick up and take every single light and everything else like that. I will probably take some stuff apart though to start stockpiling materials. And we definitely want computers and electronics so that we can use those in the disassembly station.
Who's here? Lobo. Let's test out this knife. Feels good. I like it. Unfortunately, a little bit closer range than the machete, but I think I'll get used to it. Oh, glue. Nice. Yeah, glue is going to be really hard to come by. I don't even know where we're going to be able to find it. Also, dehydrating. Hopefully we find some water in here. Supply satchel. Quest over. But we're not done yet. Yeah, these are what we want. Take these so we can disassemble them at home. Oh, college jacket. Yeah, once you find one, they start coming in droves. So hopefully tonight or sometime in the near future, we'll get the carpenter table upgraded. So then we can start making crossbow bolts. And then I'll switch over to that iron crossbow for sure. Crossbow's just much better than bows. Unless it's Horde Knight, then you if you're using bows on Horde Knight, if, you know, bows are better. Oh, it's this place. Oh yeah, so watch your foot, watch your step around here. Yeah. Was there anything down here? Is a trap! Oh, jeez. Get back. Oh, crap. Oh, no, no. <laughs> oh, I'm out of stamina. Crap. Run! I can't run. I'm going so slow. Ah! I'm too dehydrated for this. Here, get the gun. Get the gun. Ah! Ow. Oh, crap. Ow. Hey, there we go. Ooh, level up. Hmm, how do we want to spend that, do you think? So we, we've basically gone evenly into strength, agility, and intellect so far. I mean, mining is like a super important activity for us. But who can deny that parkour is just like the best perk in the game, especially once we get the can jump one meter higher with the next point. Okay, I am thirsty, and I just want to see, like, what's the chance for dysentery? 12%, I get 10 water. Well, so far so good. Also, we got boiled meat. Can eat a couple of those. Here, just give me all the toilet water. I'm going to drink it all. Rolling the dice. Oh, I got the shits. Oh, hello there, gentlemen. Whoa, woke up a bunch doing that. Ow, whoa, who's that? All right. Been wanting to test this out anyway. Is this the house? This is the house. This is the house that we lived in on, or that I, yeah, that we lived in when we first started totally not prepared. It was like our second house that we moved into. And that was my bedroom right there. <laughs> Anybody here seen that? That was a, a fun little thing that we did there. Ooh, getting used to the knife still. Oh my God, another SMG. What? That is crazy. Too bad I couldn't combine them. That'd be kind of fun. Oh, rooftop or attic. Aha, look what I found. Just guessing this is a hidden stash. Nice. Anything good? Hey, a hobo stew recipe and a hunter's journal for mountain lions. Honestly, just scrap those research data. Way more important to me. Although hobo stew recipe... I will research because uh, that is a good one. It's relatively easy to craft. I think it's like uh, hobo stew. What is that? That's um, rotten flesh, potatoes, um, mushrooms or something like that. Rotten flesh, potato, corn, animal fat, and water. Not too difficult. You just have to find some corn. Is that it? Charge! Watch, this has a mineral water in it or something. Ooh, hey. Grandpa's moonshine. Yeah, nice. Nothing good in there. Structural brace. That is actually an excellent find. That should go straight onto the, well, the shovel when we can. For now, that can probably go onto the knife. Usually, oh yes. Ooh, wait, sliding iron door. Yes, we do want that because that is going to be a component for the base. Stun batons don't need that. Robots and stun batons degrade slower. Nah. And, um, you know, I really want the one that has the glass doors, and I'm not going to settle. I, I want what I want, and I don't want this, this particular style of new door. All right, we're all done here. Off we go. Back to the trader. Yes, we should be able to make it there in time. Hello, hello. Good to see you. Greetings, oh, man. my God. You have got to be kidding me. I'm going to take it because it is... G class, which is better than the one I have, and that means we can use the one that we crafted in order to make the well, I think. Probably be the best use for that. Ellen, I could take you over the head with this damn shovel right now. We've got 
frat house. What is the frat house? Okay. Have I done that before? I suppose awesome. frat house it is. Well, I think that just about does it for today. Let's head back to the base and get settled in for the night. Actually, I want to swing by up here. I think there's some barrels. Let me see if I can uh, siphon some gas out of them. Yeah, this is the spot right here. Okay, that does that. And now I have to get the regular gas and I can fill this up over here. Yes. We can have like a little fuel storage thing at the at the base. For what good it'll do me. I can't craft gas. Don't have the chem station. Can't craft the chem station. And Oh, that's the frat house right there. Right next door. Okay, good to know. All right, home sweet home. Okay, do I have any goldenrod tea? That would be really helpful right now. There it is. Okay, first try here at the disassembly station. Ooh, lead car battery. That gives us five research data. Oh my god, that gives us acid. Holy crap, scrap that. Scrap all of them. And the TVs, yes, yeah, scrap those as well. Oh boy, that is good to know. That's how you get acid right there. I'm sure some of you have already commented. <laughs> Thank you anyway. Oh good, we figured that out. For now, though, I just want to get started on the bricks. I could use the brick mold in the campfire, but, you know, I've got it right here, so good enough. 392, so that'll be good for, uh, what is it, five bricks to make one block, which, uh, that's not a lot of blocks. So, long story short, we need to do lots and lots more mining. The last thing I'm going to do tonight, before we call it quits, is I'm going to upgrade the carpenter's table. In order to do that, I'm going to need a saw. So let's get see if I can get that crafted. Give me those plates. Yes, I can get a saw. That's relatively easy to make. Let's go chop some trees down. Oh, oh, what is that? Wolf. Can I just sneak over the edge here? I can, it looks like. Oh, he's already scared off. I don't have time for this, and I have parkour skills now. Yeah! Whoa, ow! Well, that's done. Okay, these trees look like they're grown enough. So I've been told that if you bring it down really, really low and then you use the knife to get the kill on it, you still get all the materials except you get a ton more resin. So I got nine logs off of that. I'm gonna see how many logs do I get just with the hatchet. I got eight logs off that, but only 14 resin. So that's the trick, I guess. If you want more resin, or really just like the, the most efficient way to do this is to get the kill stroke with your knife. Good deal. Wow, that is a lot of resin off that one. Okay, that'll do it. Dire wolf right there. Oh god, he's like aggroed on me too. Shit. Get the SMG out. Okay, he's stuck on that fence. Thank goodness. Just run! Okay, so with that, if I just have the hammer in my inventory, I took the weighted head mod off the carpenter's axe, which is almost broken anyway. And I need to go grab the saw, I think. Pick this up, and if I head back here, I should be able to upgrade the carpenter's table. Yes, it looks like we got everything we need. Let's do it. Ah, very cool. Nice. I love how it changes every time you upgrade it. That's such a good upgrade to the mod. I guess that that's a relatively recent upgrade too, so or update. Uh, let's see here. What did that unlock for us? I don't even remember. Oh, the, the thing we really wanted, though, was the, the iron crossbow bolts. So... Let's start working on that, and I will start working on some more arrowheads over here in the Blacksmith Forge. I think we'll take, like, uh, I don't know, 40 or so. Whoa, no, 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 no. There's 10 each, so uh, we only need, like, four then. So let's get the crossbow repaired, taking my last bowstring. Oh, what about upgrade? Uh, I gotta get a better station level to do that. Also, we are going to need another axe. I'm wondering, though, if um, it's maybe worth it to just splurge a little bit and get the iron fire axe yeah we could do it let's go ahead and research it nope not pin it um research w get the rest of the crossbow bolts crafted oh boy it's a horde okay let's do this yes oh jeez here they come they might have a difficult time getting up here i never did upgrade that ow that last ladder piece down there just stab 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 everyone in the face you know what? You guys sit here for a second. Give me this flashlight and just put it there. I know it's hovering. It's okay. Give me some light. Oh, I'm getting my ass kicked. Yeah, I gotta be a lot closer to the zombies to use this knife. Not as happy with this as I thought I would be. Just the, the regular stab though. Kind of good. I like it. Oh, geez. Getting my ass kicked. If I'm not careful, I'm gonna sprain something. Oh, knives and swords up to level 30. 
All right, come up here, everyone. Let's finish this off. I don't have all night. Well, technically I do, but anyway. Oh, Arlene, back up your boat. Let's try out the crossbow. Eat that. In fact, I am going to take the 2x scope off of that and just slap it onto the crossbow. Probably get us some more utility that way. All right. Well, I'm happy with the, the flashlight here. That's kind of nice. And we should be good to go in here. So we'll read the fire axe and I, I'm just assuming that I have all the things needed to make it. Nope, of course not. Need a wooden handle, which puts us down to two glue again, unfortunately. But anyway, here we go. Iron fire axe. All set, we're done. And with that, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a night. But tomorrow we continue to forge our legacy. We are the tip of the spear, raiders of the night, avengers for all mankind. We are the Order of Steel. While you're waiting for the next video, check out some of the content on the end screen here. But if you just can't wait to see what happens next, jump on my Patreon and see if early access is right for you. Huge thank you to those of you who continue to support the growth and development of this channel. You all are the true nerds of steel. Anyway, my name is Tamreki, and I hope this video has earned your subscription, and that I'll see you in the next one. But until then, I wish you all the very best. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.